hello everyone and welcome to my channel options trader today so today in this video i will tell you how the price of gold has moved in the last two days and how the price of gold can move in the next two days if you look at the chart of gold what we can see that the price currently trading at around 1928.76 okay and if overall if you look at the chart from september december 2020 then we can see yes how you pattern is formed and after this particular pattern we moment then we have seen that it made a high of around 2072 and this is the particular resistance if you have checked my video where i have told you that this is the resistance where we can see the bounce back where we can see probability of touching and then it can come back okay before that if you have any doubt regarding gold position or any other commodities you can mail me at stock market trading live at gmail.com or a mail id i have given in the description Please watch the full video and then you will understand how this technical and gold and other commodities are working and if you wish to join my telegram channel link I have given in the description you can join now look at the chart if you look at the chart what you can see that if if we look at the chart from 2017 we have seen that this particular range after breaking this particular range we have seen an upside okay and after that we have seen a range bound okay and once this range has break upside we have seen it has moved up okay so suppose if the price sustain this level 1928 then we can see yes it can go further upside towards a level of 1943 and suppose if this 1943 sustain then we can see it can go further upside towards a level of 1962 and this level is already being tested here so chances of going upside is high and we can see it can go further upside towards a level of 1974 67 and if this level also sustain then we can see it can go further upside towards a level of 1994 and suppose if the price sustain above this level then we can see it can go further upside towards a level of 2048 and from there we can see it can go further upside towards a level of 2072 and this 2072 this 2072 is already being tested here so chances of going further upside is high but suppose if the price didn't sustain this level what we can see we can see it can go further low towards a level of 1916 and if it goes below this level then we can see it can come down to a level of 1908 okay and if the price goes below this level then we can see it can fall further towards level of 1897 okay and if the price fall below this then we can see yes it can go to a level of 1875 and from there we can see it can go further low towards a level of 1859 okay and from there we can see it can go further up low towards a level of 1859 and from there we can see it can fall towards a level of 1829 and once if it fall below this level because this is a strong risk support and once this fall below this level then we can see it can fall towards a level of 1800 okay and if it falls below 1800 then we can see it can move below this particular range till the time it didn't sustain above this level okay now for investing purpose if you any buy any dip is a buying opportunities if you are looking for 5 10 15 years or even more but if you are trading you have to understand that if you are trading with whatever amount but i will tell you an average which people trade mostly with ten thousand dollars suppose then you should always try to trade with 10 to 15 percent of your capital that is around thousand to fifteen hundred okay and now this thousand and fifteen hundred you have five suppose you took five trades and your risk should be 0 0.5 to 1 percent that is around 50 to 100 dollars okay so you know that five times you are trading that will be 500 dollars okay so 500 dollars what you will learn you should be relaxed if suppose if you your five trades fall and you are in a negative position so you know that your risk is 500 dollars and then you can trade easily and relaxed in the next day okay but what people do is they try to recover the amount and then they make their stop loss is high so what they do they make a big mistake and lose a big amount and then they try to recover the more amount because of which they lose the capital that is the main mistake that do i teach in my workshop one on one as well as in the group how the psychological point and trading works so if you want to attend you can mail me regarding this we'll work on other timings yeah, group as well as individually okay so hope you like the video and if you like the video please give a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please subscribe it